It's the spooky season once again. The Scream Fortress 12 update is now live, so let's get summarizing. Looks like Valve has set a new record for the earliest Scream Fortress update. The update released October 1st, 2020. Halloween mode has been re-enabled. This causes a few changes within the game. It re-adds Halloween maps to casual matchmaking. It makes the Halloween slash Full Moon restricted cosmetics usable. It changes the appearance of health packs. And finally, it changes the game's main menu background and music. The in-game news was updated to indicate to players that the Scream Fortress update was live, and to highlight its contents. Soul Gargoyles were distributed to players who did not already have one when they launched the game during the Halloween event. A new cosmetic case was added to the game containing 22 new community created cosmetics. As a bonus, the cases can also drop 6 new Halloween restricted cosmetics. A new war paint case was added to the game containing 50 new community created war paints. As a bonus, both cases have a chance to drop taunt unusual fires. New unusual effects were added to the game, 8 for hats and 11 for taunts. For the duration of the Halloween event, Unusuals created by opening cases have the new Halloween-specific unusual effects. Mirage Mission campaign contracts were re-enabled. Four new contracts were added to the game to go with the new maps added to the game. Speaking of, four new Halloween maps were added to the game. The maps are titled Megalo, Bloodwater, Hassel Castle, and Mulder Grove. Megalo is a King of the Hill map with a control point on a platform that ascends and descends. A train with a ghostly skull repeatedly plows over the point. Bloodwater is the Halloween version of Badwater. It's a payload map with actual blood water, periodic magic spells, and the occasional Halloween boss spawning. Hassel Castle is the Halloween version of Upward. It's a payload map with magic spells and skeleton spawning when checkpoints are captured. Mulder Grove is the Halloween version of Undergrove. It's a King of the Hill map where capturing the control point opens up portals to the underworld, where a quick 3v3 deathmatch can be played for a short team-wide buff. That's about it for Halloween-specific changes. Some general changes were also made in this update. The update added buttons to disable voice and text chat in the advanced options, as well as a button for chat filter settings. Some tournament medals were also added to the game. Oh, also needless to say, they updated the localization files. The update also contains major changes to manpower mode. The changes include increased time before the flag resets on Hellfire and Gorge, weapon and class specific mechanics getting rebalanced, power ups being rebalanced, and bug and exploit fixes implemented. Additionally, a new mechanic was introduced where players doing excessively well receive a negative status effect. Anyways, that's the Scream Fortress 12 update summarized. Remember, the event ends November 8th. Thanks for watching and enjoy some Halloween fun. Au revoir. It's not original, but it's true. I love brains.